Markel Fultz. Dude was the number one overall pick in the 2017 NBA draft. Was supposed to be some sort of revolutionary player because of the fact that he averaged 23, 6, and 6 in his college season. Then he gets one of the wildest injuries in NBA history where he can no longer shoot the basketball. His game's played numbers are ludicrous. And off the strength of his one healthy season, he actually earned a pretty solid contract with the Magic because he's that good. Like, he's still a good basketball player, but he just so happened to tear his ACL right after that. So we're going to see what happens if Markel Fultz never got injured. He's a third-ranked player in the 2022 draft class and uh yeah i got the lottery right here by the way injuries are on again yeah, that's right i ain't taking it easy on it. Now, i don't know if he's going number one overall so i'm just gonna click skip on this you saw what the hell the order was i mean hey the magic could draft him again the nba draft 2022 with the first overall pick the orlando magic will select jabari smith jr second overall houston paulo Bonchero, minnesota shaden sharp markel fold still available but number four we head into canada yep we okay I, I don't think i've ever seen this one before the raptors need a point guard chad holmgren falls at number five to the pistons well you know they're fourth overall pick from last year was the rookie of the year so you know that's pretty solid luck he's got some high expectations he's got some high expectations to uh, you know reach but uh you know he's got some high expectations to reach and actually they also signed Jalen Brunson and Gary Trent Jr. still here and Fred Van Vliet so uh, I don't even know if he's gonna start Markel Fultz I, I don't think I've ever seen a 20 uh, Markel Fultz I don't know the last time I've seen a fourth overall pick be off the bench in a career simulation but he is he's gonna have to earn his spot in this league uh, eighth man Jordan Poole sixth man of the year sorry for man I don't care about none of these people Oh, yeah, he didn't win rookie of the year, obviously, because he's on the bench. Joel Embiid, twisted left knee. Twisted doesn't even sound like a medical term. I feel like they would just throw in a word like contused or something. Markel Fultz didn't make the all NBA first team, though. He averaged 16 points, four rebounds, four assists off the bench. So uh, these idiots probably want to start him soon. Actually, he started for 26 games. So I guess, you know, they got a little feel for it. And the uh, 10th seed in the conference, probably not going to make it. Yeah, we lost to Charlotte. Sorry, LaMelo's too nice. Markel, 22 points in his first ever quote unquote playoff appearance. So, you know, pretty solid. Never Never speak of this this doesn't exist joe johnson retired i was about to say well you know what that means another lottery pick but no we traded to san antonio welcome to our new draft picks markel's an 83 overall so he's definitely starting this year there's just no way in hell and uh him and scotty barnes you know future of the team oh yeah this is one of the deepest uh teams that ever bro full 80 overall lineup oh yeah come on i don't care if your best player is a dude who averages 12 points you better get to do something bro this guy pisses me off like i'm sorry luca i love you real life great guy but i hope you just like i hope they just cut off your leg honestly <laughs> like i don't want to see you win every MVP. I mean that virtually, virtually just chop the leg off. He won't feel nothing. It's a game. It's a video game. Honestly, surprised uh, Markel didn't win like mo most improved or something, but uh, let's see. Let's see what he did for himself. Oh, we were seventh in the conference, which is still only good for the playing game. And um, where, where is he? Oh, he's, he's right there. Okay, cool. 22 points, six rebounds and seven assists. Fantastic. Won the playing game. Great. And we're playing. Oh God, it's Charlotte again. We're probably going to lose, aren't we? Oh my, we got so close yet so far. It's game. Wait. Yeah, no, we lost in game seven they they almost jesus christ markel 24 7 and 8 averaging is pretty uh actually it kind of sucked he kind of fell off but uh well, we won't talk about it timberwolves champions see ya ursan well portland gave their pick to chicago when they drafted wait no the bulls gave their pick to chicago no, no i'm just gonna you know i quit I, I was trying to make a mark uh a marcus Aldridge reference okay i give up i give up they got the first pick try, probably drafted some cool dude and we got fudge we got big fudge 87 overall straight on the way to superstardom no no oh Oh my god bro he makes the all nba third team for the first time and the bastard is injured average 30 points 30 but this man got he got injured last year too oh my god why did i do this it's gonna be the injury simulation okay well you know what guys we can we can make it with the six to eight weeks until he's back yes yes we're oh no oh he is back he's been back for three games of the series and we've still lost all right fair play fair play cleveland's nice we know cleveland's nice see ya and the warriors were in the ring foreshadowing to real life no because we're like three years in the future semi o jelly retired i don't know who lives you Philemon is, but I find this man every year of 2K somehow. Th this same exact name. Markel Fultz, 91 overall. Just stay healthy, please. And where the hell did our whole team go? Remember the 80 plus rotation? And I have Alex Fudge playing 48. No, no, they got him again. Ah, you see, Shaden Sharp couldn't average 30 points, but he probably has a working hand. Markel Fultz, twisted right. Bro, he's literally a walking injury even in this. I thought we would be like safe. Somehow he still played 74. Wasn't that like a six to eight week injury? Did he come back and play with like one? hand or something hey either way he made the all nba second team i'm proud same numbers as last year shooting good from the field too for six seed in the conference come on detroit you know you don't want to beat us yeah they do they won akil alexander walker oh wait i was about to say he's giving us buckets but no he's on our team and isn't he canadian too did he get injured again oh what the hell kind of hex did they put on this man man got the same injury again in one of the only games that he was in that he was healthy he dropped 43 points and 15 assists in a win well mr Fultz, you got your max deal now time to prove your worth to the world is that jimmy butler no it's jared butler i kind of 
kind of wish people would have told me to put on injuries in these simulations earlier though i've never seen it be like a top comment or anybody asking for it, it adds some variety you know but what i will hear is absolutely utterly garbage video ideas every single there's people who will like go on my instagram dms and just spam awful ideas and be like day 47 of ruin my youtube career with the worst idea ever there's some good one too so you know keep them coming man freedom of speech markel fultz all-star starter i'm praying for all the health in the world please this career is the tale of bouncing back and it looks like he's been pretty healthy this year so you know we'll take it ah uh, this is what i like to see yes the new york jersey on him mecca of basketball do i sound like spike lee yet markel fultz all nba first team played every single game and he averaged 29 7 and 10 but we're the eighth seed in the conference are we gonna make the playoffs i have no clue because uh you know i don't control okay cool the pistons man they're becoming our bitter rivals and guess what they stole our guy fred van bleed is there but they got kate and chet holmgren they could have had well they couldn't have had what's his name uh mark hill because you know he want to pick before them you know our team's basically fully healthy so sorry robert woodard and uh we're up three to two. Oh god we did it we did it we win we made it to the second round again and jared Jared Butler, look at you go. 25 points. Thanks, Markel, for being yourself, by the way. And uh, Atlanta, is Trey Young still here? Yes, he is. Markel's cooking him. I could already call it. Now, I've seen Miles Turner's in the paint, though. I'm a little scared of that. But I'm not scared of this team. It's a 4 0 uh, 3 1 4 1. Thank you. Seven seed in the conference finals. And Cleveland, a team we've had issues with in the past. And a team we have issues with in the present. They won the first two games, won three. And yeah, it is time. Game six. We, we went through a lot of trials and tribulations. We're down by three points. This is our last chance to make it into yes we're, we're down in the series so uh, we literally need this right here markel to the basket he gets blocked by jared allen that would have been an easy bucket but you know this guy's an all-star for a reason i love the fro by the way i love how you stood committed a lot of players cut their hair off but this guy you know what i mean i also see him on twitter he's like a huge nerd he's always talking about like legend of zelda he made me a fan he's a i'm a fan bolts tween tweens all the way to the basket the floater beautiful floater over jared allen the man who i was just giving props to no blocks there no they've also got two big men in here as mobley's probably fouled out but jack and Hayes is in at the four. They do not let up with the height. They love their tall bastards. And Darius Garland, the layup is all. He could have taken a lot more time, but instead Isaac's going to bring it up. Give it to Fultz. They're going to throw it down to Isaac on the mismatch with Darius Garland. Will he Will he score through this? They're not even double teaming. They're letting him rock. Isaac, come on. No, no. He folded. He folded, bro. And now they're going to give Karis Levert the shot. The mid range by Levert is off. And that is it. That is the play that. Who is our call? Is this still Nick Nurse? I don't. Yo, I. Who the hell is this? This guy. I'm not gonna lie, he got the crispy Jalen Rose cut. I'm just gonna say this is Jalen Rose. To be fair, Jalen Rose was on the Raptors when Kobe dropped 81 on him. So it would fit the narrative, you know? And that's it. We lost. The Raptors, I mean, the Cavaliers are going to the finals. Uh, can I not be here? Hey, Garland dropped 25 and 10 on Fultz, but Fultz dropped 35 and 13. His team was just significantly better. The Raptors are gone. And the Wolves win their third ring. So at the end of the day, we'd have to beat these insane bastards. Shaden Sharp has three rings. Man, I've been talking way too much trash for him to have that many rings. Why does every team keep on trading their picks like some idiots actually these are probably the james harden picks aren't they Pacers finesse just threw in a victor oladipo now they got the first overall pick who will they draft with it they uh well we got herman they got sam neely markel's here he's in full markel form we just you know that was the waiting game until we make it to the finals we don't have like now real ones remember back in the day when yusuf nurkis would make the all-star team and it was real surprising we don't have no one like that anymore all these guys are uh, you're supposed to be here yeah especially you markel i see you oh my god Markel Fultz, 32, 7, and 9 a game. Hey, it's not every career simulation the guy wins MVP, you know? It could have been mid. It could have been garbage. But instead, the guy went from not being able to shoot to making 479 three-pointers in a season. Definitely could say this has been a success so far. And he's healthy. That's always a plus. Second in the conference, we are the favorites this year. Oh, is Steph still on the Knicks? Probably not. He probably went to... Oh my God, bro. Bro, in it. What, what the hell? Why is why are they so far in the background? I don't know. I don't understand how 2K programs these glitches just to happen we're about to lose to milwaukee in the first round is that Giannis still over there no it's not even him they got brawny brawny's out here beating us what the hell happened markel played solid enough but uh josh green shot under 36 percent so did killian hayes and jordan noir not too hot either and and jonathan isaac i mean we expect you to be garbage at offense in 2k but uh we got cooked just for the rockets go to the finals and win markel man you're not really holding up thus far at least in the winning column oh there goes steph markel back to back mvp the stats are 
way less points at least. And by the way, still sucks at free throws. What the hell? I, did, I just realized that 65%. My God, this man is putting up that many points on garbage free throws. Ronnie James, sixth man of the year. And this is our guy, Corey Curry. But hey, I guess, you know, he decided to pass a little bit more and let his teammates get involved. And well, here we are. Oh, look, Jalen Brunson's back after 75 years of leave. Uh, wait, it's only been four years. Cleveland, please, please, bro. How many times are we going to lose to it? Uh, Jesus Christ. We lost to the eight seed. The eight seed. I know, bro, this Cleveland hates us, but I hate Cleveland. And New York, uh, Zion wins the championship. But Cole Anthony back in New York, uh, you know, because he's from New York. And Bronny James and Victor Wenbanyama. Holy hell, we might have, yeah, we probably wouldn't have beat this team anyway. Damian Lillard retired, teamless. Three times? I didn't know you had it like this. But are we good this year? Fourth seed. I mean, it never really matters what the seed is. Come on, just make it far. There you go. And the Pistons, second round. We're up 3-2. We're in the conference finals. We beat Detroit. We got past them. Miami. We ain't seen Miami yet. What's my, why are they all the way back there? Cade Cunningham left Detroit for the Heat. So who the hell were we just playing? Was it just Wenbanyama? I mean, my bad. Holmgren and Elohim. Sure, man. I, you, great team. But uh, now we got to play the man who kept on cooking us all these years. And he's going to cook us for another year. Or not. 3-3. Three to three. Aileen Hayes is injured. I'm sorry, man. But we're running out of players. You got to play. I don't care that you have a Torres ACL. I'm Tom Thibodeau. All right. I have no clue what the current status. Please don't tell me it's at the free throw line. Oh, my God. We can still get it done. Don't worry. Don't panic. Don't. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Who is this and why is he getting MVP chance? Dunkley Distant? Who the hell is Dunkley Distant? Jalik Dunkley Distant? It's got to be a real dude. There's no way 2K. I'd probably sue 2K if they somehow created that name. And I want to sue his parental guidance now because there's no way you saw this man came off the womb and he named. Well, I mean, that's your last name, I guess. Okay, so he only had one free throw. Now Markel, but wait, he can't shoot free throws. Oh, thank God. That was a, that was great, though. You know, we got to force him back the other way. Markel, second one. Good. They're going to call their timeout. 28 seconds left. We do not have to foul. They got Will Ferrell from that movie with Andre 2000 on the court. And he's ISOing Delano Banton. Or no, that's Brandon Boston, actually. I don't know why. I just thought it was Delano. Black, he takes it right. He goes tween, tween, has he throws it to the corner. Wide open, Dunkley distant, misses. Why would we leave the MVP open? Or at least what the crowd thinks. But it worked. Here we go. Six seconds left. Another finals appearance on the line. Pass into Markel. Markel, five seconds left. He's stepping back. He's going to the basket. He's going to pull up mid-range. Markel. It's good. 114-114. We are going to overtime. We've got a decent advantage right now. Actually, we really don't because they have the ball and they're only down by two. Cade Cunningham guarded by... Is that um, that's a dude from the Spurs or something? I can't remember. Uh, Cade Cunningham wide open. Oh, no. That's James Book night. And he got cooked tonight. So, uh, you know, sorry. I had to... Look at the... Why is the police officer so detailed? They put in some... They put in more detail to the police officers than they put into half of the players' face scans. Markel gets the screen from Isaiah Stewart. Kel to the basket. Layup is off. Rebound by Miami. Billy you. He throws it up. Now, uh, Cade going to the basket. No, that's Black with the dunk to take a two-point lead. We're folding right in front of our eyes. Fultz takes the timeout. 30 seconds left. Markel to the basket around the big man. He gets... Yo, he got killed. At the line now. That I mean, hey, it's Hacka Kel. That's a Keenan and Kel. One of my favorite shows of all time. And both of them. Good. Miami still with a chance to advance to the finals. 11 seconds left and Black is moving around around like a hockey puck right now just completely skidding across the arena he's gonna finally get to the basket he's right around the hoop he misses the layup and we are going to a second ot another close overtime a one point game though an odd you know an odd differential so maybe just maybe they just exchange two pointers and we actually get a winner this overtime and dunkley distant or disberg or whatever the hell um makes his way back to black he's gonna get the screen he's gonna cross over kind of loose his defender throw it back out to cunningham cade for three that that one is good over the defense with 49 seconds left. Kate Cunningham might have just gamed us. Markel Fultz, man, it's going through the toughest times I could ever. This man injured team keeps on settling him out, but here he is. He's got the ball in his hands, full opportunity to himself. The screen in the mid range area, and he's going to get the open layup, the curry layup. Saves a lot of time on the clock. Cunningham brings it back the other way. Cade, the hezzy to the wide open dunk. This man lost the hell out of Scotty Barnes with this hezzy. That man was nowhere to be found. The Pass in the book night. He throws it over. Just get it to Markel. We know what we got to do here. Yep. Uh-huh. Markel, the spin jump shot. Not ideal. And that is it. We are going to miss the finals again in, in a very, very close conference finals. They're fouling over and over again. I don't want to see this anyways. It's over. Markel, 40, 10, and 16. Another insane performance in the loss. God. Can we just bring Kawhi back? Nuggets win the championship led by Xavier Booker. This man replaced Jokic and voila. He's had more success. Markel folds is an unrestricted free agent but his top deal is his supermax offer from toronto and actually so 
was Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes, but he's about to leave. The Raptors ain't offered him a penny. Yep, Scotty Barnes is a son, a Phoenix son. Did we sign anybody in Toronto? Please, not one per. Uh, oh, you know, Scotty, your numbers were pretty garbage every single year, but you were holding it down. But now we got Chet Holmgren, and most importantly, Kyle Kuzma. Toronto, the city is on the city's on your back, Markel. The country is on your back, actually. Elohim, Elohim, MVP. Oh no, I'm not seeing Markel on nothing. Does this mean when I think it? Mm? He's healthy and made an all-defensive team. He's just not all NBA level anymore, I guess. The league gets better. He gets a little worse. Simple as that. But you know, maybe it's because of our newfound team with Chet Holmgren, and uh, now we're the second seed. But Chet's off the bench. What the hell are we doing? I don't know, man. Just click the simulate button. All right, well it's working. Hey, coach, I guess you're doing something right. That's until we lost in the second round to Miami again. God, I hate these guys. The Heat win the championship. Cade Cunningham Finals MVP. My God. Tommy B retired. Who the hell is Freddie Tiggs? Oh, he's back to the All NBA second team, Mr. 29 per game. And we're back to the playing game. So, you know, everything comes full circle. Okay, cool. At least with a seven seed against New York. I don't know who the hell the Knicks have at this point because Steph Curry retired a long time ago and we won. We came back from a 3 1 lead. Jalen Green. Wow, that's a dude who won a finals a few years ago. If only we could have made it to the finals and beat him. 4 0. We got swept by Chicago. Well, that's great. What a turnaround. Anthony Edwards cooked us. Probably because he's won about 17 finals. That's a lot different than Jalen Green. He's won 47 of them. And here he goes again. Oh, yep, just barely. Edwards and Lonzo Ball cooked everybody. He's got four rings. The man's trying to make a goat case right now. Markel, I cannot say the same for you. MVPs, yes. Everything else, no. Luka Doncic, sixth man of the year in San Antonio. Man, Dallas gotta be pissed. Markel, same old, same old. But uh, now you gotta make it to the second. We, we didn't make it again. NBA commissioner Clint Capella has retired. There goes Markel again. He's back. Is this final year? The redemption year. The first seed. I know we lost to an eight seed once, but you gotta keep the hopes high, you know? Please, come on. It's Milwaukee too. We lost to them. Oh my God, bro. What happened again? Markel, is there? Did he get injured? Nah, man. This man got a high left ankle sprain for the season after. What, is that one game? Yeah, one game. We played him in the regular season, but this is one game. Oh my God. At a certain point, I got to start blaming your ankles or your knees or something. Because my God. Hey, we got another good player. Nasir Cunningham signs to the team. Number one overall pick in 2025. Probably should help us, you know, make it to the promised land. No, Trey Young's taking his turn to six, man. I'm not even going to look at his stats. I don't care. Come on, Markel. Show me some. Show me that you lost in seven games in the first round. I don't even know if he's healthy, honestly. Uh, he, he is. He is. And Freddie Tiggs, 88 overall. He winning rings. What about you? What about you? Markel just signed another five-year max with this team. That's it. His career is going to go down here. Toronto, please give us something. Always a top five seed. You'd always a first round exit. Let's see if the trend continues. It does. It does. Don't matter if we got Nasir. We got Scotty. We got Chet. Don't matter, right? Doesn't matter. They don't even got um Anthony Edwards over here anymore. John Morant finals MVP at 36 years old. And Markel is regressing. Come on, man. This is your last dance, please. I know you had a lot of years with injuries and all this stuff, but most of these years have been pretty flawlessly okay to, you know, get something done here. Still on your all NBA second team, bro. Come on. Chicago, they nothing to us. Then they, we blew a 3-1 lead to them. Yeah, okay. Okay, great. Well, this is the career simulation of failure. Wow. Okay, so I wanted to check for the first time how Markel is performing in these L's, right? 7 for 26 shooting in one of them. That's really bad. 3 for 17 from 3. Holy hell. But you know, my guy, you still got just a couple more tries. 88 overall. Hey, this dude is Zion Lawson's the new best Zion. I don't know what he's been up to, but he's he been up to a lot. Markel Fultz is still an All-NBA third team or an 89 overall, borderline 90. Come on, man. Second can see we got swept i'm telling you right now we just got swept by chicago everybody's healthy everybody's healthy except for patrick williams but that's okay man we'll, we'll, we'll be just fine right at all these 80 overalls was patrick williams like faking an injury just so he lost to his former team or something hell they got injuries too and we get cooked by an 84 overall darius garland that's what you guys are known for huh chet holmgren 31 percent from the field you are seven foot two just go to the basket i'm kidding you're 195 so it's not like you really can but oh my god man Holy hell. Zion Lawson, congrats. Look at this. Half the Bulls team just retired. We lost to a retirement home. Oh, now Nasir Cunningham left us, and now he wants to be a D DPOY with a different team, huh? Our arch nemesis, Miami. Here we go again, right? Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. We're always the higher seed, by the way, in case you haven't realized this trend by now. Yet we always lose, and Markel shot five, for, three for 15. Nine points, three for 15 shooting. I mean, you know, solid. Oh, six for 23 and a loss, 30 point loss. Oh, my God. Uh, can't all be on him. You got to have some teammates too. But honestly, I really don't. I, I don't know if I do or I don't blame him. I, I don't know. Finals MVP John Morant tore his Achilles and he retired off the strength of that. Markel's career is officially over. He's an 80 overall. That, we had the MVP on our team, man. Jesus. Honestly, I should blame you now. Got the dude who became the MVP and was on our team for 
what, five years, some four years? We ain't even make the playoffs. Nasir Cunningham, man, I hate this guy. Oh, man. Markel Fultz has signed a minimum deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. Hey, he wanted to enjoy sunny LA and get that man's been wearing a winter coat for the past 20 years. But he's actually joining us. He regresses even more. Probably won't even play. Isaiah Elohim, Victor Wenbanyama. Is this a left leg fracture for next season or this season? Because that seems crazy. This dude is a torn right MCL for the season. My goodness, maybe he will play. Okay, this is kind of crazy. So the Lakers are the first seed, right? And Markel Fultz is starting because he's the best point guard on the team. I didn't realize that when I was going down the list of all the players. And also he averaged 17 points still with five assists, even at his old ripe age of 37. So could this finally be the year with this man off the bench? I mean, uh, you know, as a role player and uh, well, the Clippers got us um, cool, cool. We made it to the second round Portland. At least he made it out of the first round. You know, that's always a start. Didn't we have another star player or was it just, okay, I don't, I don't really care. As long as all those dudes with a torn ACL are actually playing. Yeah. We're here again for the third time in the video. I think Markel Fultz, 78 overall conference finals against Denver, and he might finally get it. Three, one lead three to please. Okay. And it's the magic for a second. I thought it was uh, the team that we've been on for the past, but no, that was the Raptors. But uh, what we do have here is Nasir Cunningham. Nasir, uh, you know, a former teammate, a new MVP and champion. Let's see what the hell happens. Probably no point in sim casting. You're probably jumping. He's not going to get the ball, but you know, they're going to win. Wait, no, they lost game one. And that dude Boozer tore his left ligament or whatever the hell it just said. That our, our power forward. Yeah, wait, that's what I was looking for. We got Wimba and Yama and he was off the bench. Jesus, this team has a lot of players, but I don't know, man. That one dude, that 87 overall getting injured might, might get us cooked. Yeah. Yeah. So after all of this, this, this career, Markel Fultz has announced his retirement and it looks like that is going to be it. Come on. You guys want to make a comeback? No, that is it. One finals appearance. This is the, um, the definition of it not being all, you know, sunshine and rainbows. As in real life, Markel Fultz has been plagued by injuries and in the game, he's plagued by injuries and losing. But as that is officially going to do it, Markel Fultz retires. He did. He is going to go down as an NBA legend with 25 points per game, seven assists, five rebounds, 40. What is that? 50% from the field and 44 from three at 33 triple doubles, 424 double doubles started in the majority of his games, four MVPs, 13 all-star appearances, five first team all NBA, so on and so forth. And then on top of that, scored 61 points in a game, hit 15 threes in a game, 16 rebounds, 22 assists, four blocks, seven steals. If I had to compare this Markel Fultz career to anybody, I would say he's like Tracy McGrady with MVPs. Or I don't know, name some other point guard because that's the best one I could think of off the top of my head. You know, I, I just, I'm free. These videos are a freelance, you know? Seventh all time in total points, 13th in assists, had the most points in a playoff game in NBA history. I do not remember this one, but it had to have been kind of deep into the playoffs, as you can see, because, you know, April is usually when the playoffs starts. Nobody else has came close, yet he surpassed everybody with the most points. I think T-Max is a good comparison. I, I could say Elgin Baylor, too, because he also won no rings, but at least he had nine appearances. Most threes in a playoff game on that same exact game, and you already know he's dominated all the Raptors records. That is the Markel Hall of Famer. You know, even though you lost, nice to see a, a semi-healthy and winning. His number 20 is retired by the Toronto Raptors. Far and away the best Raptor in history, if that means much. And that's officially going to do it. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to the channel. Become my channel at all. Oh, Scotty Barnes retired too. Did you make a Hall of Fame? Come on, Scotty. Come on. Ah, oh, look at you go. Wow, I did not realize they retired together, but that's pretty cool. He won three rings. Come on, Scott. You should have brought us along. Shout out to Scotty Barnes. Let me know what you want to see next. And I'm going to get the hell up and out of here. Good.